Hi, my name is Vineet and I'm going to show you how to create loops in LabVIEW. Looping is important for repeating sections of code and if you're already familiar with other programming languages, you might be familiar with loop statements like a for loop or a while loop or a do while. Well, in LabVIEW, loops are graphical structures and if we look over to the program I've got written here, I've just got a very basic program that converts from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. Every, I can adjust the slider and every time I hit run, I can see the updated value appear on the thermometer. Well, let's say instead of having to force the user to hit run every time, I wanted to continuously see those updates. Well, that's when I'd want to create some sort of a, a loop function. If we look over to the, gra to the block diagram, I can right click and in this programming palette, I've got a structures subpalette. As I hover over that, I can tack that down. And you can see the first two options here are the two most common types of loops in LabVIEW. There's the for loop, which is good for when you already know the number of times that you'd like to repeat code, and you can just configure that loop to execute that predetermined number of times. Or what's probably more common is the while loop, where you don't necessarily know how often you want something to execute, and you want it to only stop and exit depending on some stop condition. So we're going to use that for our program here today. I'm going to select this, and now in the block diagram, I'm just going to drag and encapsulate all the code that I'd like with this loop. And you can see this loop structure has now been created graphically. And the way this works is it's just going to continuously execute until some stop condition is met. And that stop condition is determined by this bottom right corner here called the loop condition terminal. I could programmatically wire anything I'd like to it, but in this case, let's just right click and create a control so that the user has control over when they want to stop the loop. And in this case, it's going to be in the form of a stop button. I'm going to close this palette here, and you can see automatically LabVIEW generated a stop button on the front panel. I can double click and you can see the corresponding control. And I'm just going to move this stop button over to the bottom to make it a little bit easier for the user to see. And now this loop is going to execute over and over again until someone presses that stop button. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to go up to the run button. I'm going to hit run. And now as I move the slide control, you can see I'm continuously seeing the corresponding display on the thermometer up here in degrees Celsius. So I don't have to keep hitting run every time. It makes things a lot easier. Now when I'm done with my program, all I need to do is hit stop. And you can see now that my program has ended. So that loop function, that loop structure is, is working as I would expect. The other thing to point out is when I hit run, you can see now that I'm looping my code, if you look over to the top, that run arrow has turned into a running arrow. So that's how I know that my LabVIEW program is continuously working. When I hit stop, it goes back to that white run arrow. Now the last thing that you want to keep in mind when using loops is adding some sort of loop timing in, or, in order to save on processor resources. Right now when I run that code, it's running as fast as possible. And really I might not need it to go that fast. If I right click and go to the timing palette, I can drop down a wait statement. If I select this wait statement, I can put it in the corner here. And let's create a control. If I right click and go to create and control, I can actually set the number of milliseconds that I'd like to happen in between each loop iteration. So here's the corresponding milliseconds to wait control. And if we set this to 100 milliseconds, for example, and then hit run, now when I move the slider control around, it still updates fast enough for what the user would need in order to see what that corresponding degree Celsius is, but it also gives 100 milliseconds in between each loop iteration for the processor to, to take a break, to free up other resources, and to maybe service other processes that are happening in the background or other programs that are running. I can hit stop, and that's the end of my LabVIEW program. So that's how loops work with graphical programming in LabVIEW.